Today, we'll be taking a look at the Trevor Henderson OC pack. That's right guys, Joel came out with another new Trevor Henderson pack and we have crazy looking monstrosities here like this crazy looking banana as well as cartoon mouse. We haven't seen a new cartoon character in a while. We also have a hush and we have the imposter from everyone's favorite TTT inspired game. But let's not forget the elephant in the room or should I say the giant slime. Not only do these NPCs have awesome new abilities as well as execution moves, but we even have different variations of certain ones, which I think is pretty cool. We haven't really seen a whole lot of that, and we're going to take a closer look at it now. But of course, if anyone did suggest this, you'll be down below. If you guys want to suggest a mod, do it in the comment section down below or in my Discord page in the description. Let's now take a closer look at the Trevor Henderson OC Pack. Hey guys, how's it going? To start things off, we have the Imposter. Now obviously this is inspired from Among Us, which is a very popular game right now. Believe it or not, I myself have not played it yet. I've seen some gameplay, but I haven't played it myself. I know, right? But this is the Imposter himself. He is very grotesque looking. We have some kind of weird looking growth coming out of his head. Definitely alien, for sure. Um, we're looking at 666, zero health. Something tells me that was very intentional. When you spawn him, he plays the Among Us style music. I think that's a nice little touch. One of the cool things about this guy, not only is he pretty fast, but he can teleport. So if he's not close to any enemy, he'll just teleport to the closest enemy. As you can see, he's kind of doing that right now. <laughs> it looks a little silly when he runs. It's almost adorable in a way. For attacks, we're looking at a flesh headbutt, as well as a tendril slap, which he definitely did slap us. When he defeats all the enemies, he'll play that very sinister sounding music. So you really don't have to worry about being too far from this NPC, because he'll find you no matter where you are on the map. So that was actually the execution he has, where he breaks your head. As you can see, our head, well, it's gone missing. And that's not the first time that's happened. But we have another execution, and that is, if we can get him to do it, I don't know why he's freaking out. <laughs> he doesn't really do the headbutt all that much, there it is! So he smacks us constantly against the ground, and this isn't the only NPC that has this ability. Let's see what it looks like when he kills other NPCs. You can just see how ruthless he is. Doesn't even care. Now the cool thing is guys, of course, just like all DRG base NPCs, or at least most of them, you can control them. And we're going to possess the imposter himself. So left click, we have the tentacle swing, left and right. Right click is gonna be the execution move. Let me just go ahead and show you right here. So there it is, that's one of the two. There's the other one, so it pretty much we pop their head open, <laughs> which is really satisfying on Odessa. To be fair, he didn't really have any brains to begin with. But anyway, we can also smack him repeatedly. Now, it seems to be random, but man, do I get the head explosion one a lot. There we go. Oh, I love it. Unfortunately, I don't know how to teleport. Maybe we don't have that option when you're possessing them. But you could definitely get a first-person view, which looks pretty trippy. We have that tentacle in front of us. Other than that, the imposter is a really cool addition. I guess I should show myself killing him. Uh, not too difficult with the energy ball, which is obviously like my favorite weapon. It's quick. And it didn't kill him. That's okay, we got one more. There we go. Imposter has been defeated. Next up, we have Hush. Now, Hush is an interesting one because what do you know? He's neutral. He doesn't normally want to kill us. Only 1,280 health. Pretty damn weak, I gotta say, compared to, well, most Trevor Henderson NPCs. You'll hear him constantly doing the shush thing. Apparently we pissed him off. Yes, guys, when he hushes, that's his warning. He'll warn you two times, but on the third time, well, you're gonna get it. And the thing about this that I think is really interesting is the more enemies he kills, the more violent he becomes. There's his execution, he pretty much, well, he just devours his whole. Let's see how he feels against Odessa. There's that first warning. 
There's number two. One more, and he's gonna go berserk. Uh, oh, there we go. Ah, I didn't think it was gonna happen, but now he's just going to just <laughs> annihilate every single one of them. Oh, yes. It's so nice to not be me for a change. So, guys, at state one, and this is pretty interesting, he has different states of anger. He'll do a basic attack as well as doing a push attack and a leap attack. So, I want to see what all this looks like. My guess is that the only way to really piss him off is to weaken him. Or have him kill a lot of enemies. So let's see just how mad this guy can really get. All right, and there we have the leap attack. So he's definitely pissed. It's hard to tell at which state he's at, but considering the fact that he's leaping at us, that means he's at state three, which is the final stage. The push attack, I can't really say that that's going to be all that significant, but the leap attack, definitely, considering that that really does close the distance, which is kind of his weakness since he's pretty slow. So at state one, guys, he'll eat you. But at state three, there it is. At state three, he constantly bangs us against the ground, which is kind of like what the imposter does. Oh, there was one Odessa left. <laughs> Sorry, Odessa. Now, if you don't want to deal with that, you can just spawn the killer version. Now, he's already at the maximum pissed off stage, I guess you could say. So he's going to be leaping at us all sorts of ways. Thankfully, we have the possessor. And, well, the camera is very close to this guy. First person view looks actually really nice. We have left click, which is a standard swiping attack, left and right. We can go ahead and spawn Odessa and test that out. You can see it pretty much one shots him. And of course, can't forget the right click where we smack him around like mad. Unfortunately, I don't think we get the eating one because I'm pretty sure we're at stage three already. Yes, definitely. So the leap attack, I'm pretty sure is just him jumping at you but it could also be a button. Unfortunately, I, I can't, for the life of me, after all the keys I've pressed, I haven't been able to find anything that leads to the leap attack. So I can only assume that you just get the swipe and the execution. But that's all good, because next up we have Cartoon Mouse! Yes, a new cartoon creature. I know a lot of you people do love cartoon cat and dog. We now have Mouse, and he's a little skittish guy. So we can see he's actually afraid, so he'll run from us. And I think this is the first Trevor Henderson creature by Joel that does this, at least to my knowledge. Usually we have neutral or we have killer. And this one, he just wants to get away and he's lagging the hell out of my game. That is strange. I don't know why that happens. But the thing is, guys, if you piss him off, oh, he's not going to be skittish no more. So it takes a few attacks. But now we can see we pissed off the wrong mouse. Not only is this guy omniscient, but he has a myriad of different attacks. So he'll always know where we're at. No matter how far we go, no matter how hidden we think we are, he'll always find a way to get to us. You can see his design has changed tremendously. He has these tendrils coming out of his shoulders and his face is pretty much a facade because we can see the real ugliness underneath. So he has the generic left jab, right jab, tentacle attack, and even a leap attack, which you can see him trying to dive at us. So a lot like Hush, but he does have his own execution, which is the standard smacking us against the ground a million times one. But the cool thing is he also has the breaking our head one. So if we can get that, I guess that counts. Pretty much he'll just make our head explode and we'll just die automatically. Oh, but look at this. This is interesting. So if he's left to his own devices and he's by himself with no threat, he'll go back to the standard cartoon mouse. Now, of course, what's it take to kill this guy? Thankfully, not a whole lot. So that leap attack does make it pretty difficult to land some projectiles. But thankfully, with the arc weapons pack, it's not going to be too tricky to take this guy out. So this NPC definitely doesn't have as much health as some of the other Trevor Henderson creatures, but definitely still lethal if he catches you off guard. All right, what do you say we take control of the lovely cartoon mouse? We have this beautiful song playing. Mm. Totally doesn't rip my ears in half. Anyway, we can go into first person here, which looks really spooky. We can actually see our nose. And I'm getting kind of a darkness vibe here from the tentacles flanking our left and right. Looks really cool. Left click, 
we have the left swipe and the tentacle swipe as well. So we kind of have like a bit of variety going on here. And of course, we can right click to do our execution. I don't recommend doing it on the banana though. Let's try it on a zombie. Come here, buddy. There we go. We can just smack him around. Honestly, that looks really good. I, I love that. That's, that's probably one of my favorite executions that Joel has done so far. Let's try it again. See if we can get the head exploding one. Cool. I, I guess that was it. Next up, we have Banana Eater. This is a very strange one. This one's actually based off of a YouTuber that does a lot of Trevor Henderson content on Gary's Mod. So I think that's pretty cool, though. We got other YouTubers that are represented here, and it, it's in the form of this freakish looking banana. So we could definitely see he's hostile. Apparently he can climb. I want to see that in action. So guys, this is probably the most complex one in the pack. This is kind of his first stage. This one has the different anger stages, just like the other NPC we took a look at in this pack. And at state one, it'll scratch, which I'm pretty sure is what it's at right now. So just like the other NPC, when it kills creatures, it gets more and more angry. So let's go ahead and let's piss him off as much as we can. Spawning Odessa. So that grabbing attack, that looks really cool how he like kind of brings him into his mouth. So stage one, he scratches. Stage two, he jabs. I'd say he's jabbing right now. Stage three, he bites. That sounds interesting. So I guess, would you call that a bite? The cool thing is though, guys, is we get a good look at the execution he does. So of course, one of the executions he does is he just swallows you whole. We've definitely seen that. I wanna see him transform into stage three. Now when he does eventually transform, he'll get a few new key abilities, but he is just really stubborn. He does not want to transform right now. All right, guys, so I'm an idiot. He only transforms when his health gets below 3,600 and there's more than two different enemies. So let's go ahead and spawn a bunch of enemies here. And there we go. So now he is in his final rage state and you can just see he is throwing people up into the air. <laughs> Just completely losing his mind. I don't even think he has a mind to begin with though. So now this is his final rage state. And this is the exciting part is apparently he can push you now. But also he's a pretty much different NPC now. I'm pretty sure now we can get him to climb. Let's see if it works. Well, he can open doors. Okay guys, we're, we're going to try the climbing ability once we possess him. But he gets a few new abilities. He can right scratch, left scratch. Apparently, bit clap us too. That's cool. He pushes you. He bites you. He jabs you. A ton of new attacks. I just want to see him just lose it on all of these. So yeah, we can see honestly a nice, a nice amount of variation. Even using the weird tendril on his head, which used to be his tongue. So the strongest attack he can do can do about 170 damage. Also, his fatality, um, at least at anger stage three is he rips you in half but in the standing stage he just kind of throws us up in the air although we do look like we're pretty messed up now of course we can take control of him and really see so let's see if we can climb yes oh my god that is freakish as hell <laughs> so yes we can climb i don't know if this is exclusive to the standing version but we definitely confirmed it does work left click is that swiping right there i want to see if we get the other text there's the bitch slap Oh, gotta love it, guys. And we get the tendril whip. Sweet. Now let's see if we can get off of this, maybe. Come here, Odessa. I got a little something for ya. First person mode looks... <laughs> oh my god, no. It looks like we have... <laughs> it looks like we have tits for eyes. It looks like we have tits for eyes. I don't like it. Let's go ahead and just execute this guy. Oh yeah. Let's try killing this guy. I love that execution, guys. You just toss them up in the air like you don't even give a crap. Um, it's supposed to tear them apart, but unfortunately, we get this weird-looking ragdoll. And last up, guys, we have Jelly! A cute little blob, and this honestly is probably one of my favorite Trevor Anderson creatures that I've seen so far. So the cool thing is, this guy can change his size, and he can fly! So we don't see that all too often. Um, the last one I can really think of off the top of my head is Mothman. So, um, looks pretty cool. He just kind of hovers around. He's like very amoebish. Now, oddly enough, this one's not hostile to Smile Room. Don't know why that's a thing. 
but we can see he does a very basic attack. Ow! So honestly, even though he's small, he definitely hurts. Just, he's not all that strong, but you'll notice something. We changed maps, and that's for a very good reason, because, well, look at this. You'll see he is ever so slightly bigger. In fact, we can go ahead and spawn Jelly Mouth. Compared to Jelly, well, he's a bit more menacing. This one has the exact same ability, except now he has a new attack, and he can apparently spawn littler versions of himself. But he's gonna get bigger every time he kills us. In fact, let's go ahead and spawn some Odessas and just go crazy. Alright, so you guys will see, look at that! That was such a huge change! Not only that, but we're, we're so damn dead. Hey, come here often? So this is why you don't mess with Jelly Mouth. Look how far his attack goes! We can't even dodge it anymore! So he does basic attack, he stomps, he bites. Honestly, kind of the basic standard affair. Don't think this one has an execution. Doesn't look like it over here. That's okay though. We're gonna see how big we can get this guy. There's the bite attack though. So let's just go absolutely nuts. Every single time he kills more NPCs, he grows and grows. I don't even think he wants to fight us anymore. He's so slow, oh my god. Okay guys, another thing I noticed, his health increases, and I think those are the jellies, and we're dead. Alright guys, let's skip to the end, this is the Jelly Mouth Giant, I love that name, it just rolls off the tongue. We're looking at 37,000 health, and he's very, very, very slowly moving. Let's go ahead and spawn Odessa, see what happens. Alright guys, I spawned a lot of Odessas, I don't actually know what he's gonna do. He actually hasn't attacked us yet. He might just be a little too big. I know, we're definitely not gonna leave a dent in him, he is just so damn tanky. Let's see if we can instigate him. Look at that. Good old Odessa. Go on, eat your breakfast. Oh, look at that. Odessa's just sitting on him, hanging out. <laughs> okay. There we go, guys. We got him to attack. Unfortunately, it's a little finicky. Um, he seems to like only want to attack once or twice. And once he gets to a certain size, he just kind of stops. Look at that. Just stops. It's almost as if he's given up. But of course, we haven't given up. We can not possess him. That's really strange. Let's go ahead and spawn the regular jelly. We also can't possess the jelly. What? Do I have the right? Yes, DRG. Okay, that is very weird. You cannot possess the jelly mouth. What about? Nope. All right, guys, I have one more fight for you. Jelly mouth versus Godzilla. Sorry, Zilla. If you guys like this video, leave a like down below and subscribe. They're not fighting, are they? Never mind, how about the Hydra? Let's see if they want to fight each other. Uh, I, I wouldn't exactly call that, oh. Oh, he's dead. And that, guys, was the Trevor Henderson OC pack. If you guys like this video, leave a like down below and subscribe to see more videos like this. If you want to see more Trevor Henderson content as well as other creepy, weird, and grotesque looking NPCs, Go ahead and subscribe. Also, check out my Facebook and Twitter down below. You can also find my other YouTube channels down there as well. And all the mods used in this video will be linked in the description. Let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see in the next video, as well as what you thought about this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, farewell. As always, guys, the last video I did will be on the left, and a random video on my channel will be on the right. Thanks for watching to the end. All my socials will be down below. And until next time.